Hi. In this uh, second vlog, I'm going to be looking at building up some of the individual teams. And the first one that I'm going to be working on here is my medic team. Now, I think I've mentioned this chap before, the one that's carrying the injured soldier. And because there's an SMG there, I'm thinking of having him as the companion to my medic. And I've spent a bit of time cleaning him up and taking off any flash lines or anything else that's on there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up... Um, let me just adjust the camera a little bit. Sorry about that. I'm going to make up my medic from some of the bits that are on the sprue because I don't like the metal medic that's available. And a little while back, I saw uh, someone had, uh, had a go at making their own on the internet. Um, I think his name was Flying Bishop. Um, I haven't got a picture of it anything, else. I'll put it up on the screen, but uh, that that's where I'm getting the inspiration for this one from. He basically used it to um, have the uh, man carrying his bag to the front using the bits from the actual sprue. So I'm going to use this one, uh, which had a pick sticking out the bottom of it, which was the easiest one to adapt. So I've cut the pick off it and that's given me what looks like a medic bag. So I'm going to have him carrying that. I'll put it together and then I'll show you a little bit um, of how I'm going to try and position it. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet here, I'm just trying to focus on getting the positioning right. It's actually got quite a gripping hand there, so I'm wondering if I can get this. I wonder if I can get the bag in his hand. Make sure you've got it the right way up. I could cut it a bit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little piece out the side of the bag so he can actually grip hold of it better. Once it's in his hand, you won't see it. See if I can get that in his hand. Maybe it would have been better trying to get it in his hand before I put his hand on. Thinking about it. No, that's that will grip it. Glue in the hand.
let's get the other one and on and that might help firm it up a little bit Too bad actually. Sorry, the light's not brilliant, I know, but it looks like he's going to open the bag. I might be able to use a little bit of uh, either green stuff to put a um, red cross armband on him. But obviously I'll wait till he's thoroughly dry before I do anything like that. I was thinking of having like a, you know, keeping in theme with the the way I'm putting the riflemen with with the helmets on and my machine gun men with the uh, helmets, but thinking about the fact that this chap's going to be running out into the heat of the battle, I think it would look a bit odd if he has a berry on. I mean, I suppose I could, I could put a berry on him somewhere, but just he's got his helmet on. If I remember right, I think the flying bishop chap had the berry on the back, and I think he went with the helmet as well. Now I'm looking slightly sideways because he's conscious of his mate running up with the injured man as well. Um. Right, I've managed to actually chop the berry off uh, this uh, little head that's spare and uh, I can use him for this one. Sorry about this, it's all very fiddly and I know you're not seeing a lot, I'm sorry about that. Um, I've just spotted a little bit of flash that I've left as well. I'm going to take that off while I can see it.
put him on a base. I'm just going to set him down for a minute. Hopefully he'll stay up while I fix the metal one. Now what I've done with the uh, his mate um, is I've took the actual metal base off because I want it to, to sit at the same level as the other. Um, so what I'm going to use to bond this is some super glue. the spray on it too. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spray the base, bond it that way. That's it. Is he straight? Yeah. Right. As I say, I might come back to the actual medic himself and use a little bit of green stuff to put a an armband on him. But uh, that's what he's looking like now. So if I put like an armband on this side and perhaps something on his medic bag and uh, bring his companion up I think they'd work well together. All right. Another little um, modification that I'm going to do is looking at the uh, British Airborne Sprue, the only sniper rifle is actually being carried um, rather than actually up in use and being targeted so I'm gonna try to take the scope off that arm and actually put it on to a different rifle that I can lift up to the face and what I'm gonna go for um, I'm gonna go for kneeling figures because I think I'd be able to create a better pose with them and perhaps put on something for them to kind of lean over on the actual base. And I'm also going to have his friend kneeling as well because I don't use so many of the kneeling figures in my squads. But it makes more sense for the sniper and his mate to be kneeling, taking cover while they're making their shot. And what I was thinking of doing is I've got the uh, the eyeglasses, um, binoculars, and what I've done is I've took the arm that was gripping that I used on my medic, and I've cut the hand off that one, and I'm going to connect the uh, binoculars to his hand. Um, and at the same time... Another one of the items that I'd, I've not used much is a shouldered rifle. So I thought that would be a, a good way to use one of them up would be to have that um, with the sniper's mate. Because that would make sense for him to be shouldering his rifle because he's looking through the binoculars. So that's my thinking. So rather than putting you through another fiddly episode where you can't see very much going on I'm going to actually start putting it together and then I'll bring you back and show you how it's come together just a little glimpse of work in progress 
I've managed to take a section of the scope. I'm not sure whether this is showing up perfectly, but a section of the scope out the top and then bring the scope over from the carried rifle into this one. And that, it's a bit fiddly, but it's sitting well now. And I think once it's been painted, it'll look, it'll really look the part. But uh, I'll bring you back when I've got got the actual figure together as well. Right, I've uh, put together the sniper and his mate. Um, basically, what I've had to do is scout round uh, for another arm that's close to the chest, so I could put the gun closer to his eye. So I've actually used part of the arm of a Falschmega troop and uh, then put the two pieces together and used a little bit of uh, green stuff to smooth it into place. Uh, this way he's looking down his rifle and I prefer that to him just carrying a rifle down at his hip. It just looks more interesting. And then his mate, as I said, I've gone for the uh, binoculars. And again, I've used a little bit of green stuff to smooth out the joint where I wanted to pull it up to his eyes. And that way I've managed to utilise one of the shouldered rifles that you know I didn't want to use on an ordinary troop that's it and then obviously the original two that I've said there now my medic and his mate there nicely set now I haven't had to use any green stuff on them too So, that's two of my little sets completed. Right, so what I've also managed to do is I've cut a piece of scrap plastic for a base for me, six pound a gun, and uh, built that up. And then I've also based up some of the other sets, the MMG and the uh, flamethrower and the uh, mortar. And uh, some of these I've put like a green stuff base with some uh, road patterning with a few loose bricks and what you can see me doing here is uh, using some PVA to actually seal the basing. Right I've been pretty busy as you can probably see and uh, what I've decided to do is I'm going to aim for an overall 2000 point British Airborne Army um, but the main reason for that is because then I can swap and change around what I'm going to use, you know, for a conventional 1,000 point or, you know, 1,500 point. But I can chop and change. And uh, initially, just to work out the points and what I need to build, I've made my squads eight men, which is quite similar for the American uh, squads that I did. So... In each section, I mean, I've still got some to build for this one. Um, but this this tray, the back tray, is complete. So I've got three eight-man squads. Um, I've got first lieutenant with two support. I've got the free observer. The six-pounder. At the back, can you see that? Um, the mortar, three man team mortar, MMG, and then I've got at the back here uh, a medic and his supporter. Uh, Piat team 
our sniper team and that's that section complete now this other one that I've still working on I've got the flamethrower team another Piat team the two man mortar team light mortar team I've got one of the squads of eight. I've got two more to build. They've got a, a lieutenant and his two supports. And then at the front here, I've got the choice of the big three that I could potentially use as majors. And that's the character three. And then two supporters for them as well. And obviously the other part that will make up this section is the Jeep and the Bren Carrier. And uh, that's, that's, that will make up both teams. And the other thing that I've decided as I've gone along is that I'm going to aim at having one section with very much a rubble-based um, bases. So they look more, you know, in, t in town setting. But then I thought I could do the others with more like a rural grassy scene. I can in intermix them anyway, but I thought sometimes like when you've got them placed in buildings, it's nice to have the right ones in the buildings and whatever. So I thought I could, I might as well just split it down the middle and do, you know, I won't make them very, very starkly different, but I will try to make some more grassy and the others more urban so that's that's what i'm going to aim for but as i say i've got two more squads for this one i've got the mmg team i've got the bren carrier and the jeep before that's that's done and i'm going to focus on that and then obviously it'll be going towards spraying which is why i've put these um little canister drop markers in here because obviously they'll want spraying up as well well priming so that's where i'm at for now so i'll have to give you another update in the next video but uh i'm getting there slowly so thanks again for joining me um if you find it interesting please consider giving it a like and if you want to carry on following me it might be worth you know, putting down a subscription and then clicking the bell so you'll get a notice when my next video drops. Thanks again for joining me. Bye.